Hi guys, this video is about pandas and how to filter results of value counts. You can also find how to create virtual environment for your notebooks which are on GitHub. This is the notebook for this video. And if you want to create virtual environment for all notebooks in this repository, you can open website mybinder.org, then place the link to the repo and finally get the environment. You can execute all the notebooks in this environment and later share results with your friends and you can find the link at the top. Now let's go back to the main topic of the video. We will start with how value counts works. Then we will filter the results by using is in. Then we are going to simulate the same results by using group by and lambda. And finally, we are going to compare both methods and which of them is faster. So let's start with demonstration. We're working with movie dataset and with column language. You can find that we have some non values in the values, which are not going to be included in the value counts. And this is the result of value counts. We have frequency of all items in this column sorted in descending order without including the non values you can include them by using a parameter for non values this is the type of the values which is integer and if you want to get the counts you can use dot values and you have all the counts from this column if you want to get the items you can use dot index and this is how value count is working and now let's say that you want to get from this list only the top results or results which have uh, exactly three occurrences in the list. Then you can use this long statement here and providing that we want to get items which are present exactly three times. And as you can see, we have the item and the language and how this is working you can use comparison with value counts and as you can see we will get exactly the same list of items but this time we don't have the count but we have false and true if the uh, match is true or not and you can create a list of uh, true and false and filter your date frame based on this index that you have here and as you can see we have false for four because we have none value and all the rest are values in the value counts and this is how we can use filtering in order to get results with is in and now let's see the next step by using this filtering we can get the index of all unique values which have uh, occurrences exactly three times in this way, we are building a list of uh, all values are the value present in the final date frame or not. And we're going to provide this uh, list of series of true and false to the date frame and get the final filtering for our rows. So how it's working, we are applying filtering, which is producing a list of uh, all values which are matching this condition. Then we're creating a series of true and false, which are showing which rows to be collected. And finally, we're providing this list to the date frame and we're getting the results for our case. If you want to get, let's say, the items which has occurrences more than 10 times, you can do it with this way, providing value counts bigger than 10 and that then uh, applying the same on value counts and this is resulting in a list of top values for this value count you can get the rows by using this a bit longer expression and if you want to get the unique values you can provide the method unique and you get all the values which are unique for uh, this comparison here you can simulate exactly the same results by using group by and this can be done by 
group by giving the column name and then applying filter on length and providing the number that you want in this case is free and we get all rows which are matching this condition you can get only the value language or you can get the unique values by using again dot unique and let's try which of both ways is faster we are going to use time it which is part of the Jupyter Notebook magic functions and as you can see value counts gives uh, three times better time for this case and this is how you can filter the results of value count if you have any questions or problems please do share them in the comment section below thank you for watching and see you next time